Welcome to 2K Sport. Now, a look at Dallas's starting lineup. They Here we go. So Dallas will get the first possessions. Rebound by JaVale McGee. And if you ask me what percentage of the time he's making that shot, my answer would be in the single digits. Well, you can't be forcing a shot like that. You gotta keep the ball moving. Get something better. Now, here's Doncic. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. The Mavericks shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. The first one falls. Reggie Bullock, he's checked in for Dallas. So he gets them both. Seven of 14 for the game. Back to Anthony. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. To the inside. Basket good. Hey, there's a reason Nothing why he shoots such a hard yet. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Well, earlier I spoke with Orlando's head coach. He said in the first meeting between these teams, his guys weren't as sharp as they need to be offensively. And he thinks that cost them the game. He told me, if we take care of the basketball and execute in half court like I know we're capable of, next pass, keep the ball moving. Give the offense a chance to do what it's designed to do, which is produce the best shot. To the middle. The shot's good from McGee. Mavericks trail by three. Covered by Anthony. McGee inside. That one drops for him. Very tough hoop there from McGee. Look good at the line. Though. They're perfect in four attempts. And team free throw numbers really about as good as you could ask for. Around 80% on the season. And comparing to the numbers of last season, they've made a bit of improvement. He has six. And, and no matter who it is, that kind of deed isn't going to get it done. Guarded by Fultz. Down it goes, jamming that one home. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. Need to risk the jumper when you can get to the rack. Yeah, you want to get those sure things down the stretch, and that close to the bucket, he is a sure thing. And it's good, two points. Back by Carter, and he recovers it. Shot clock at six. Back to Wood. Another shot. And Doncic lays it in. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. For Dallas, they've gone 7 of 10 shooting the ball since the start of the fourth quarter. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup. So I'd agree with you there, Greg. He's able to hit the second one, and that gives them by one. 149 left here in the fourth quarter. Hey, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Hey, Kevin. Well, during the last break, I heard Orlando's coach talk to his team. He really got after him in the huddle. He said, look, you can rest after the game. you got to put it all out there if you want to win this one. Talk to you guys. Dallas shooting 53% from the floor. They're locked in. 30 left in the fourth. Outside, Green shoots, and right through it goes. Green's got the lead up to three now for Dallas. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick. That's right. Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter. And that's an intentional foul. He drops the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. And, you know, Fultz is a 
a guy who can easily take over a game if you give him an opportunity to. He's very confident and has remarkable decision-making skills. So he goes two for two at the line. <laughs> Draw up a play here, I think, to get a shot right off of the inbound pass and not waste too much time at all. Here's Doncic. Yes! No fear or hesitation in the eyes of Doncic. He loves the chance to take and make these big ones. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. Yeah, but Greg, they didn't really have a... Another option, I mean, I thought they did a nice job getting it in his hands and making sure he was the guy who'd go to the line. And the first of two, no good, heartbreaker. And he ends up missing both free throws. Dallas calls timeout. Definitely good. Here's Irving. And now we get set for overtime in what has been a stunning contest. So we see the Mavericks get the win here. They had to scrape and claw to push it to overtime, but they really came out in the extra period. What a ride. I mean, I, I thought it might end in regulation, but you know what? They came through big and, and did exactly what was necessary once we got into OT. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long.